What is up, everybody? I'm back on another video, man. And today we're gonna be reacting to Kobe warning us about this by swoosh, swoosh, swoosh out. You know what James what Harden, of course, crazy streak yeah. this season. What do you think of what he's doing right now? Well, I think he, I'm not a fan of in terms of winning championships. I don't think that style is ever going to win championships. But at the same time, you have to keep your team's head above water to win games. So you have to do what you have to do to win games. And he's doing it, right? Now, I think... Um, so are you saying you don't think James Harden and the Rockets, as constructed, can win a title? Not with this style of play, it won't win. Right? With one player dominating the ball. Now when you have Chris Ball come back and you have more, more movement, to the offense where you move guys around where you're harder to find and Chris now goes back, that's something but you that's, mean more in yeah because listen yeah. if you take one player you put him at the top of the key or you put him on the wing you're running screen rolls you're always in front of the defense mm -hmm. the defense can key on that mm -hmm. particularly in the playoffs and that's easy, easy to though. defend yeah it's easy to defend now what he's doing is absolutely remarkable though okay yeah 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 rv kobe bro all right man this video is actually like one day delayed. I was planning on dropping this yesterday, but I was like extremely busy. So I really couldn't even record it, but I still want this message to get across. Luka Doncic, as we all know, he just had two of the greatest playoff debut series of all time. And I'm comfortable with saying that even though he lost. The reason I'm extremely comfortable with saying this is one, the clearly inferior team he's on Two, the fact that he's pushing a championship favorite to their max twice. I ain't gonna lie, those numbers crazy for what what is this? His third year, bro. Those numbers is crazy. I can't lie. Ice and three, the specific players that Clippers team actually has. That's literally a team with easily two of at least the top five two-way wing players really of the last decade. And it's like he toyed with them at times. Now ultimately Kawhi. He got the last laugh and we all know that he won the series but the reason he got the last laugh is the reason i'm making this video in 2019 kobe bryant said something very interesting when james Harden was breaking all these records had a crazy 30 point streak was dominating the ball scoring all these points and kobe as a player that's done that before and lost he basically told James Harden, bro, you're never going to win a championship playing that specific style. And I know because I've done it. Now, in no way am I faulting James Harden and definitely not Luka for putting up those crazy numbers and playing that specific style. Because to be honest, it's kind of imperative on those teams. But it's just unfortunate because it typically results in losing efforts. And that's, that's just the unfortunate truth. Do you know that in this year's playoffs, Luka just had the second highest uses percentage in playoff history. And the only person that's number one is 2017 Russ. And we know how that team was built. Mm. In that game seven loss. The Tony Parker at fourth? Okay. Donovan. Okay. Luka again. LeBron. Melo. MJ. Carl Malone. MJ again. Russell. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I expect Westbrook, you know. Dallas Mavericks scored 111 points. Luka Doncic scored or assisted on 77 of them. That, that just tells me Luka didn't lose, but the Mavericks did. In that game five win that they had in LA that made Skip Bayless throw his shoes. 77 of 111 points generated. That, that's crazy. I can't lie. Didn't give up on Kawhi and all that. Do you know Luka Doncic scored or assisted on 84% of the Mavericks field goals? 84%. That's, That's pretty much crazy. the entire team. Just to put that into context and just so that won't go over your head. Bro, that's the most in NBA history ever in any playoff game, regular season game. That's the most ever. Right now, Luka's problems are very identical to what James Harden had to go through 2014, 2015, 2016, specifically 2017, where he lost to the Spurs and all that. But to be honest, Luka's is worse. In James Harden's playoffs career, as dominant as he was and as James Harden based those Rockets teams actually were, he's never had the ball in his hands as much as Luka these last two years, ever. Like, like this year or last year, it's never been that bad. He's never had the assist percentage that Lucas had these last two years ever. Even if you look at the craziest individual performances like Allen Iverson in 01, Kobe in 06, Harden those years with the Rockets, outside of Russell Westbrook that 2017 year, bro, he's like an anomaly. Like he had the ball in his hands every single play. It was literally Russ and get the hell out the way. Outside of that, no one has had quite the responsibility of Luca these last two years. 
It's kind of crazy because the two players that I felt the most sorry for this playoffs, Luka Doncic and Damian Lillard, they could yeah. really use each other. Dame has even said on a podcast before, he would love to play off ball at times and run off screens and pin downs and get those opener looks like Steph. And yes, I just made up a word, but like Steph, because to be honest, a lot of his shots, bro, they're contested. You can look at his percentages and compare them and all that, but they're contested as shots. That's the difference. And as for Luka, he will have somebody to take the pressure off of him all the time and take the ball out of his hands. And you can't give them those crazy kind of stuff like coverages all the time because you can't do that with Dame. It's impossible. And Dame vice versa, the same thing. I'm dreaming. Obviously, this would never happen. Like this trade is like one in a million. Yeah. But it would just be cool to see, bro. And they do kind of need each other. Even when I was watching. He's saying, you know what I'm saying? That's If it's me, you know, I think Luka is still on his rookie deal. So, you know what I'm saying? I might stay for like another two or three years. You know what I'm saying? Get, get a high contract. Then I'm moving teams, bro. I'm going to a winning team, bro. That's what I'm doing. That's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? Forget the bag. I want my legacy. You know what I'm saying? On God. To Giannis last night, I was like, damn, bro. If you, if you would have just held on one year, who knew what you could have done with you? I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know. If you guys like this video, like this video. As I told you guys in a previous video before, Kobe warned you about this play style and all this. It's tough to see and it doesn't last. Like, all it does is wear your ass down. Um, like I said, like the video, follow my social media sites. Do all that great stuff, guys. And until next time, as always, stay And with that being said, bro, that's going to be the end of this video, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, and we out, cuz.